tell me. Everybody remembers that one, right? Well, that's the band Los Lonely Boys playing their Grammy-winning hit, Heaven, here on CBS 20 years ago. In our morning's mixtape series, we're catching up with the band. In the first decade of their career, they released five albums. They took a break before releasing their new record this month called Resurrection. Omar Biafranca met up with the band where they first hit it big in Austin, Texas. We are Los, Los Lonely Boys. Boys. Take me back home. Los Lonely Boys' latest album, Resurrection, is also a reawakening for this trio of Texas brothers who first broke through two decades ago with their debut single, Heaven. Earning them a Grammy. It's been about 10 or 11 years since we've actually released a record. What the hell have you been doing? <laughs> well, accumulating music in the soul because you know it's better to let things marinate you know and yeah and just simmer rather than just let you turn the barbecue up to 20 you know i was gonna say bully <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing your, your normal things man i mean we're just like everybody else we're raising the families uh becoming grandpas also we've been bullied a lot. <laughs> lead guitarist henry jojo on bass and Ringo, who plays, well, what else? The drums say their soulful sound has matured. There is still a distinct Texas sound in y'all. Absolutely. It just happens naturally. The, the sound of Texican rock and roll is what we call it. We were trying to prove something. The brothers took us here to the Hotel San Jose, where the band used to busk before hitting it big. <laughs> you weren't at South by Southwest yet. No. <laughs> Like Los Lonely Boys name, the song Forever Linked with their seemingly overnight success was born out of sorrow. When I lost my first son, it was a rough time. It was a really rough time. His son, Enrico, died in bed right beside him from sudden infant death syndrome. About a year later that I went into the room and, and I was on my knees and I was praying, saying, Lord, save me from this prison. Lord, help me get away. Look, it was like supernatural. I got hit by this invisible... A bolt of lightning that said, write this down. But the song almost remained a silent prayer. Nobody really wanted us to record it. Mm -hmm. We're talking about record labels. You know? Really? Yeah, it was like, no, heaven, what's with this heaven stuff? You know, we're like, well, we're going to record it. And September 11th hit. Heaven was the only song we recorded that day. It was almost like it was meant to be. Absolutely. I still yeah. definitely think it's one of the world's loudest prayers. The band offers up a new prayer in the song, Send More Love. The song's about, like, talking to God and telling him, hey, can you send some more love down here because we're going broke. It's another, you know, another this world prayer. is going crazy. This world is going crazy. This world is going crazy. They first played in Austin here at the Saxon Pub. And next door is the legendary South Austin Music Store, where the brothers treated customers to an impromptu concert. This world is going crazy. They credit their father, a fellow musician, as their biggest influence. He used to stand up there when we were three little guys and we, we sounded like crap. And he was there still proud. When we show our dad this this new record, Resurrection, he cries, man. And he really cries. It's the only review you really care about. That's, that's really the one that matters the most. Just last week, shortly after the release of Resurrection, their dad, Enrique, died after suffering a stroke and heart attack earlier this year. The family musical tradition is carrying on. Henry's three sons also have a band that's open for Los Lonely Boys, while these brothers share their love by continuing to make music together. I'm recording to please these guys, mm -hmm. to impress my brothers. Yeah. And I could tear up now thinking about it, because these are my brothers, man. When I hear my brother call me up and say, Edie's in tears, man, dude, that's beautiful, bro. I'm crying too, saying, man, dude. Is that when you know? That's when I... Yeah, that's when we know. Can you send more love? For CBS Mornings, more I'm Omar Villafranca in Austin, Texas.
What a beautiful piece. I love when we can share stories about the origins of music and the groups that perform them. Really well done, Omar. Thank you. Okay, ahead, Spanx founder Sarah Blakely will tell us how she wants to transform the stiletto game.